गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट्स आर सर्टेन जियोग्राफिकल एरियाज दैट हैव अ नोटेबल एबंडेंस ऑफ डाइवर्स स्पीसीज to qualify as a biodiversity hotspot an area must meet two criteria first they should contain at least 1500 species of vascular plants that are unique to the area and they must have lost at least 70% of its primary native vegetation other factors that determine a biodiversity hotspot are number 1 the number of total species in the region number 2 the number of unique species in that region number 3 the number of species that are at risk of extinction the term biodiversity hotspots is coined by norman meyer Biodiversity hotspots in India. We have four such hotspots: the Himalayas, Indo-Burma region, the Western Ghats, and Sunderland. So we will talk about them one by one. First is the Himalayas. So this region includes northeast India, Bhutan, central and eastern. parts of nepal and it occupies 750000 km square so the huge area the himalayas contain 163 endangered species such as wild asian water buffalo one horned rhino etc and this region has 10000 plant species among them 3160 plant species are endemic okay next region is the indo burma region this region occupies 2373000 km square so in the last 12 years six large mammal species have been discovered in this particular area those are the large antlered muntjac the anamite muntjac the grey shanked duck the anamite striped rabbit the leaf deer and the sola this region is the home for endemic freshwater turtle species most of which are threatened with extinction due to over harvesting and extensive habitat loss this region has 1300 different bird species among them we have threatened white eared night heron gray crowned crossiers orange necked partridge etc next is the western ghats Western Ghats occupy the western edge of South India. It covers most of the deciduous forests and rainforests. This region is the home for 325 globally threatened flora, fauna, bird, amphibian, reptile and fish. Among 325 globally threatened flora This region contains 129 vulnerable species, 145 endangered species and 51 critically endangered species. Originally, the vegetation in this region was spread over 19000 km2 but has been now reduced to 43000 km2. Next is Sunderland uh so basically it occupies the south east asia this region includes singapore uh thailand indonesia brunei malaysia in 
the sunderland was declared as a world biosphere reserve by the united nations this region is famous for its rich terrestrial and marine ecosystem it has 25000 species of vascular plants of which 15000 are found only in this region so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video